guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited for today's tutorial. As you can see, I created this makeup look here. I don't know guys, I just think this makeup look is so different. Get me. I'm not shagging my own ass or anything, but I just absolutely love this makeup look. I just think it's so nice for this time of year. It's icy and blue. It's icy and blue. That's literally all I could come up with. Like, I've done so many warm, neutral, smoky, brown eyes recently, and I just kind of think that it's time for a pop of colour, a pop of something different. Yeah, if you want to know how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Although, one thing I will say is, I do apologise that the first half of this makeup tutorial is a voiceover. <sighs> Sickens my happiness, I swear to God. <laughs> I do apologise about that, but halfway through, you get me! <laughs> Well, 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 here we are again. <laughs> so guys, I'm first off just going to be using this eye cream all over the skin just to act as a base for my foundation. I just kind of find that an eye cream just moisturizes all over the skin just as well as an all over face moisturizer. I'm then going to take these two foundations. I'm going to mix them because one's too dark for me and one is too light for me. So together they balance each other out really, really well. And one is a mattifying finish and one is a really dewy finish. So again, they just balance each other out perfectly and the finish and the longevity of these two foundations together is really really nice so I've actually been enjoying this wee combo recently but yeah I'm also just using them up just to get rid of them as well and then whoa where did the concealer part go screw it <laughs> So I'm just going to back with my usual eye heart revolution powder. Cannot live without this stuff. I absolutely love it. Please go out and buy it now. Absolutely love it so much. And obviously, as you know, I don't like to keep my bag on for too long. And then going in with this wee sleek highlight palette, I'm going to go into that bottom shade. <laughs> and I'm just going to dust this just all over the highest points of my face before I go in with my more intense highlight. For my blush, I'm going to be taking this wee one from Makeup Revolution. Absolutely beautiful wee blush. It is just the most perfect peachy coral colour and I just find it really, really complimentary. It's honestly such a beautiful blush colour. And then to bronze up the skin, I am actually taking this wee bronzer that I got from Shop Miss A. It's actually a face powder that I use for bronzer. And yeah, so therefore, because it's from Shop Miss A, I think it cost me a dollar, a pound, whatever. But it is so good. It is honestly so good. <laughs> and then for my more intense highlight, I'm going in with ColourPop Counting Sheep. Shock. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm not using ColourPop Flexitarian. What even is life right now? <laughs> but this was actually very, very nice. It actually was so similar to Flexitarian. And yep, that's my reaction. Because <laughs> this is the first time I had tried this one and it was so good. And then onto the eyes, I'm going to take this wee mini e.l.f. palette and I'm going to take that first shade that I have severely hit pan on and I'm just going to buff this into the crease tree act as my transition. I'm not really being too precise or anything, I'm just blending up into the brow bone, upper crease, doesn't really matter, just making it all nice and smoky. And then going to go in with the by Julie Proud palette. I'm going to take that baby baby blue color, baby baby blue color, <laughs> and I'm just going to pack this just all over my lid. The most beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous. And then going in with the wee precise blending brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I'm just going to further blend and buff that blue shade just into the crease and into that wee transition shade that we first applied. And as we were blending, we did blend some of that pigment away from the lid. So I'm going to pack on just a wee bit more. I'm going to take a gel liner from LA Girl, I think it's LA Girl, and I'm going to pop that in my waterline. I'm going to go in for the blue from the palette again and I'm going to place that just on the inner corner of the lid and drag onto the lower lash line. Alexa Stone palette from Makeup Revolution, I'm going to go into that blue-ish shade <laughs> and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. I definitely think that the inner corner highlight really did pull it together. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And then taking this wee holographic Kiko gel eyeliner. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pop that just along the lower lash line. Just for something kind of different. 
thought it was quite nice actually. And then next up for my wing, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Honestly, the best wee liner and it dries matte, which is absolutely perfect. So I think I did actually do my wing quite big <laughs> and I actually had to end up fixing it later. But anyway, I think we are now back to the video where I can actually talk to you guys. Yay! <laughs> so I shall see you all soon. I'm just gonna finish off the lips. I just seen I just applied some lashes there. This is the Revlon Colorstay Nude Lip Liner. I was actually sitting last night going through of my makeup drawers behind me and like these chest of drawers here is where I have like all my eyeshadow palettes so I was sorting through every single one of my drawers last night two and a half hours later I'm not even joking but I actually really love doing stuff like that I just find it very therapeutic but I was just going through all my drawers just sorting it out for my makeup collection video and making sure everything is perfect <laughs> so hopefully I'll be filming that in the next couple of weeks when I try and make it that it's the first video I put up of the new year anyway I'm going to go in <laughs> with a lip gloss and this lip gloss seems perfect for what I'm looking for and it's by the brand Technique and it's the plumping lip gloss why am I so annoying oh my god that lip gloss is tangling so much did it say plumping lip gloss? Yeah. <sighs> Gonna be going in with the ColourPop All Star Face Setting Spray. <gasps> Jesus! Calm down! <laughs> Talking about ColourPop, can you believe that I used a ColourPop highlighter and it wasn't Flexitarian? <laughs> as I was saying, yes, as I was saying, I was sorting out all my drawers last night. So I was going through my highlighter drawer where I have like all my ColourPop highlighters. And it's also ridiculous the amount of ColourPop highlighters I have. So I actually just took them all out and I just counted out how many ColourPop flexitarians I have. 16. I have 16 of these ColourPop flexitarians. See for Christmas. I've got more. I still have more yet to come. <laughs> oh, I was actually wanting to add some of these. I know I've been adding these in like nearly every single tutorial, but let me live. <laughs> Woo! I just think that these be really nice. Even if I just add it to, I have noticed I've been getting quite a lot of questions about these, which <laughs> I don't really get it, to be honest. These are literally just like we, what even are they? Adhesive gems. You can get them at a craft store. I got these from the range in Balamina. You could get these in like a pound shop, dollar store, wherever you are in the world. Euro store, yen store, I don't know. Just here. I'll zoom these in a bit, but honestly, please do not look at my moustache. I'm kind of waiting until next week to do my tan de-hair my entire body, <laughs> um, my nails, colour my hair, the lot, the lot for Christmas. I always wait like a couple of days prior <laughs> to do absolutely everything. Where did that go? <laughs> oh, the Hoover will get that one. Okay, oh, that's sweet. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I actually think it is really, really pretty. I love it. I love how different it looks and I'm not too sure if you can see the brow bone highlight. Obviously that is completely optional. I'm like really obsessed with like brow bone highlights and everything recently and like bringing things up to my brow bone. So I don't know if I mentioned in the voiceover or not, but I did clean up or I did make the swing slightly smaller with a face wipe. I probably should have done that on camera to show you how I do that, but I know nobody cares. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I do apologize that 
part of this video was a voice through but please do know and just take it from me right now that anytime I do a voice over it's because I have somebody in my house. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again I hate doing voiceovers and I just kind of find that it's the easy way out of doing videos and to me they're just half-assed videos <laughs> you know like if you can just sit down and talk to your subscribers talk to your viewers basically but anyway just I am so so sorry but Anyway guys, thank you so so much for watching this video. Nonetheless, if you have made it to here, <laughs> don't forget to check out the description box where you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter and also on my Depop. So anyway, thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.